All right, I thought I'd look at uh, compression circuits or uh, automatic leveling circuits, something like that. So I've got a, um, a peak detector. So uh, this is the peak detector and then it runs into an amplifier with an adjustment. So um, if I like put in one volt peak to peak, I should get one volt DC here. And if I run it through here and I put some gain on it, I can get minus two volts. And then I have a LED in here, so I should turn on that LED. Um, figuring the forward voltage of that is about two volts, something like that. Anyway, um, here's the uh, here's the circuit wired up. This is the uh, this is a dual op amp. So this is the peak detector. This is the little um, uh, diode here and the capacitor. So. And then the other side of it is the amplifier. Then here's an LED at the top. And that, uh, that LED is going to uh, come on and off depending on the intensity of the input signal. So I've got a generator coming in here. And let's increase the, uh, so now we're at one volt peak to peak and you can see we have a nice bright LED. And if I come down, it turns off around 200 million, uh, 200 volts peak to peak. So that works pretty good. So the next part of the circuit, I'm going to have the LED shine onto a photo resistor. So there's a photo resistor right here. It might be hard to see. Um, let me, let me zoom in a bit. All right. You can see it good now. So here's the, uh, here's the LED and here's the photo diode and it's going to go into an amplifier. And so the brighter the light, the less gain the amplifier will have. Um, so let me, let me adjust it down again. You can see the light goes out and the light comes on. So, uh, I want to put a, uh, something dark. It's got a little piece of heat shrink here. So let me turn the power off here and, and then the LED goes in the circuit board there. So make sure the, the thing is shorting out, which it is on the breadboard. There we go. So I think that'll work. Turn the power back on. See if I can stare in the end there. Yeah, the LED's on. All right. So, all right. So then let's look at the output of this amplifier on the oscilloscope. So that's this wire here. The output will be right, right there. Ah, there we go. All right. So focus. All right. So I'm at 1.3 volts coming in and I'm going to lower the voltage. And I'm less, making the voltage lower, but it's going up. And that's because the LED is turning off. So, so that's good. Here's, oh, that's interesting. No, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Here's a hundred millivolts peak to peak, 200 millivolts peak to peak. Oh, I guess it does. It's going up. And then it reaches 300 millivolts peak to peak. It's still going up, but then at 400 millivolts, the LED is starting to come on and it's putting it back down. So 500 milliamps, millivolts, 600 millivolts, 800 millivolts, 900 millivolts, one volt. So it's kind of clamping it there at that voltage. So anywhere I'm right at uh, one volt now, nine, eight, seven, six, here we go, it's starting to come up. Five, four, three. Yeah, this is great. It's working good. All right, let me uh, add to the, uh, where'd my pen go? Okay, so this isn't the, this is not the whole circuit. Uh, the other part of the circuit is I'm bringing that, the input down to another, uh, another circuit. Okay, so I've got uh, this circuit. So we were monitoring right, 
we were monitoring right here. And this circuit here has the photodiode right here. So as you shine light on it, the resistance goes down and that lowers the gain of this stage. Uh, so yeah, it worked. So that's my circuit for the day. It's working pretty cool. Just kind of cobbled it together. Yeah, I like it. See, LED out. So I don't know if you've seen things like this where you put a dashed line between the two saying, yeah, these are coupled together, but optically, right? Uh, this LED and this photodiode are, are shining against one another in a black tube and uh, they, they talk to one another. So this is uh, sometimes referred to as uh, op optical compression, strangely enough. Uh, if you buy a compressor for a guitar or for vocals and stuff like that, um, a lot of times it has optical compression, which is, which is this. Uh, other circuits use an FET here instead of a uh, instead of a photodiode, but I kind of like this since I'm <laughs> I'm an optics engineer from from uh, trade. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to uh, smooth this PC board here. So the, on my last video, I was using a uh, photoresistor and a uh, LED to uh, create a uh, optical compressor. And um, I want to uh, Kind of make a little module, so I'll put the uh, put the two uh, items here and the piece of heat shrink across them, and uh, make it a more rigid uh, and permanent uh, device. <laughs> 